I see Miss CJ advocating and championing theater education today by taking classical pieces, reshaping them into her own image, and then sending a new message or sending a message for that time. I see her being able to take different people with different experiences and different creative knowledge and being able to perform a piece that not only will send a positive message to today's times, but send a positive message to any group of people that she wants to. My name is Wisheng Francois. Miss CJ has made a difference in my life by being one of my core mentors, even if she doesn't realize it. I met her when I was about 12 or 13 years old. She was actually the one who first introduced me to musical theater. And little did I know then that it would become my career <laughs> as um, I just made my Broadway debut. What I appreciate the most about Miss CJ as a teacher is that she never ever sacrifice professionalism and high standards just because we were students. Miss CJ has impacted my life into artistry by showing me that by working hard and smart, you can create something from nothing. I think about Dance and Be More and all of the programs that are a part of it, like Voices of Carmen. And through that specific experience of working with her on Voices of Carmen, I learned not only the artistic side of things, but also the business of being an artist. The reason why Miss CJ is such an amazing teacher and why she has inspired me so much is because she is an artist who cares, an educator who cares. Like, if she didn't care, I don't think she would leave performing in New York City to move to Baltimore, my home, and teach. Uh, she teaches people in all stages of life, from young children to elders and retirement homes, and her programs are still expanding. The why for me is to have Voices of Carbon be a project that is not in response to an incident or a tragedy, but that is out in front. We are actually seeing this happen on our news channels, in our high schools, and in our colleges, and it's not so far-fetched. It became less of an artistic choice and more of an actual uh, need to address a real problem and issue that we're having with intimate partner abuse. We talk about abuse as if it's point A. There were so many things that happened before someone got to the point of feeling that it was okay to harm someone. I want to deal with the emotion, deal with the, the challenges, the dysfunction, all of those issues in advance. Not that we're experts and even know how, but the arts give us an opportunity to start a conversation and a dialogue. Yeah,